Look. Is that the Southern Oracle? Oh, no. It's the first of the two gates you must pass through before you reach the Southern Oracle and get me the final information from my book. <laughs> of course, most people never get that far. <laughs> Why? The Sphinx's eyes stay closed until someone who does not feel his own worth tries to pass by. <laughs> Did he make it? Did he? No. Fancy armor doesn't help. The Sphinxes can see straight into your heart. The mythical beginnings of the fraternity date back to the building of the Temple of King Solomon in Jerusalem around 1000 BC. Welcome to Modern Freemasonry, as we give you a glimpse into the fraternity that has affected men's lives for centuries, and why I, and thousands like me, share this special brotherhood. When I first explored this great fraternity, I didn't know much about the rich histories and traditions of masonry, but I did see the special interactions of the members of the lodge, and saw firsthand what real brotherhood was all about. These guys considered their fellow lodge members as a type of extended I was impressed by the closeness they shared. As I learned more about my fraternity, I knew that my decision to be part of this grand society was one of the best ones that I would make for my personal and professional development. As I began to see how I fit into an organization that has affected the lives of many of our U.S. presidents, starting with George Washington, and includes some of the greatest movers and shakers of the past 300 years, I knew that I would benefit from these rich traditions the same values and traditions that help these men become better men and having the same effect on me today. Being 16 years old, wore a child not lock of hair. It kind of hung down over the left eye and down onto the shoulder. A thin lock of hair. And this was called the trial lock. And as long as that lock of hair was there, that person was not responsible for knowledge which he did not possess. He can, could not be blamed for his faith.
The fact that they would even be able to distinguish the difference or know the difference, that's pretty good. I know. As I say, there's a lot of people walking along the street to, to today who don't know that much. And um, the, the Dogon are very, very particular in their descriptions. They, they admit that the, they believe that beings came from the system of the star Sirius to the Earth in the distant past. That's their story, and they're sticking to it. And these are...